Hi everyone, it is National Coffee Day, which is great as a national holiday because who doesn't love coffee? So, in honor of that, I thought we could do a whole coffee-themed beauty uh, episode. So everything today that I'm sharing with you has a coffee tone to it, a, it all has coffee names. Um, and we will get into all of it in one moment. But first, gotta go through it all. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Hit that notification bell so when you you so when you know so you'll know when new uh, videos go up. And make sure you share share this video if you have a friend who is a huge coffee lover and a huge beauty lover, they will love this video. I have iced coffee in here right now. Um, but share with them because as soon as we get to 100 subscribers, I will do a giveaway. And as soon as we get to 1,000, I will do a huge, giant, giant giveaway if it's by Christmas. It's got to be by Christmas. I'm sure I'll still do one whenever I get to 1,000, but it's. I will tell you right now, it won't be as big as if I can do it by Christmas and get all those holiday deals to put things together. So make sure you share. With that, let's get into it. So first off, this isn't beauty related, but in case you're wondering, this is the Bando Tumbler. Coffee is my BFF, um, and I love it, and I think it's adorable. So my iced coffee is in there. Now, first thing I wanna share, and this might be one of my favorite things, and I'm super surprised by it. This is from Lush. This is Lush Cup O Coffee. And it is a face and body mask. I'll show you what it looks like. So it looks like mud. Uh, so that has, there we go. That has legit coffee granules in it. Now, I tried this the other day. It looks like I haven't used it. I used it. I tried this the other day. And while I love a Lush bath bomb and a Lush, Lush bubble bath is the greatest bubble bath on the face of the planet. Um, I didn't have high hopes. I was like, I'm going to get it because it's coffee. I'm going to do a coffee video. Uh, but I mean, as a mask, is it really going to do anything? I've just before I felt like some of the Lush, um, facial products are kind of meh. So I didn't have high hopes. This is amazing. Like, everyone run out and get it. This was so good. My skin felt so soft after. It was incredible. So what you do is you put it on dry skin, put it all over, put it on like thick, not insanely thick, not glam glow mud mask thick, but thick. Uh, so you put it all over and there's coffee grams all over your face and it stays. That's the nice part. It's not drippy. It's not gloppy. Um, it stays. Go do stuff. Go do stuff for like 15 minutes or read a magazine and then you come back and you wash it off. Now, I hate any coffee thing that doesn't explain this. They're just like rinse it in the sink. Okay, if you use this all the time and keep rinsing it in your bathroom sink, you're going to clog your bathroom drain. Same with if you've ever made a body scrub or had a body scrub uh, with coffee granules in it, you're going to clog your drain. So. Please go rinse your face over your kitchen sink that has the compactor on it. So that's what I did. Went and rinsed my face. And afterwards, it was just beyond soft and beautiful. And I'm in love and I want to use it all the time. In fact, let's just look right now because I don't know how often you can use it. It doesn't say. I bet it, like, I will say those coffee grounds, the granules, they exfoliate. They're definitely exfoliating. So I would assume not more than once a week um but just know that it says caffeine packed ground coffee helps scrub away dirt and dry skin giving skin a boost and it did it was amazing um oh okay this makes sense one thing i did want to say about it is it doesn't smell like coffee it smells well there's a like hint of coffee but it sort of smells like men's cologne like an, a musky men's cologne which takes a little getting used to, but now I'm seeing why. Under fragrances, the first fragrance is vetiver oil, vetiver oil, which I believe is used a lot in men's fragrances. Um, and then vanilla, roasted cocoa extract, and coriander. So this kind of makes sense. But, oh, I, I'm in love. Like, everybody go buy it. And it wasn't that bad a price for Lush. Um, I think it was like 12 $12, I think. Don't quote me. It'll be below. But 
but loved it. So there is your first coffee item. Next coffee item. There are plenty of nail polishes with the word coffee or something in it, but I have two for you, and it is on my nails right now. Now, this is a paint job done by me, so it's not the greatest in the world. But on all fingers but my ring finger is China Glaze's Sorry I'm Latte. Get it? Not late. Latte. Uh, Sorry I'm Latte, and it is just a straight up nude. That is a nude color. But I really, really like the way it went on, and China Glaze is totally affordable, so really like that. Then the other one, this is one I've actually had. It is from Sephora by OPI. So it's probably not available in this form anymore, but people, the shade is still around, okay? But it is non-fat soy half-calf. Non-fat soy half-calf, so I had to. Um, and I put that on my ring finger and then put a little bit of a um, glitter polish over it just to make it stand out a little more, and it's really pretty. So I'm very happy with my very polished, like, perf I don't normally do something this, um, demure if you will but I'm liking my very elegant little nails so two more coffee inspired polishes okay then I went to Walgreens and found other things that are coffee named and this next one we're just gonna put on me right now even though I have the next two actually no just kidding the next three all three we're gonna put on I'm trying to open it um even though I already have makeup on this one's expensive for being at the drugstore, and if it doesn't work, it might be going back. But this is the... I just ripped the label off. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Gel Liner. Lacquer liner. It's supposed to last up to 24 hours. But it's in the color Espresso. So let's see if it's a legit good liner or not. And it does come with a little brush. So... OMG, getting it out of the packaging. I'm sorry I didn't do this before. Very, very sorry. I apologize. Okay, so this is the liner. I do think it looks very posh. If you took, if you took their stupid little sticker off the top, turn that way, this looks much fancier than L'Oreal. Okay, so it's a straight up pot, nice espresso color. It does look like espresso. It's kind of a chocolatey brown. Ooh. Okay, the brush glides in real smoothly. Let's just see it on the back of the hand. That's nice. It goes for a while, okay. Let me try it on the eye. I'm gonna have to hold the mirror. I can't get the angle right yet, sorry. And now I realize I have the mirror in front of my eye so you can't see me anyway. <laughs> okay, let's do it this way. Okay, well, that glides on real nice. I didn't want to like this. It costs $11. $11 for an eyeliner from the drugstore, but gosh darn it, if this is not good. Okay, we gotta go this way, because I can't see. I mean, even their little, even the stupid little brush is good. I don't think the brush would be good, people. The brush is good. All right. Let's just say the name of it again because it is a winner. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Gel Eyeliner in Espresso. Um, I'll be taking that sticker off the top and making it look fancy on my desk. But holy smokes, we have a winner shocked by how much I enjoyed. I was like pissed at the drugstore when I bought I'm like really like the guy rang it up I'm like really it's $11 it's from the drugstore it's L'Oreal but they made a winner I'll try and let you know in an upcoming video if it really lasts 24 hours because holy smokes um I just butchered one of my nails but that's okay I'm trying to get that off okay then one more thing that I thought I already had ready to go and I don't so sorry is also from l'oreal and i bought this because yes it has a coffee name but it also 
reminds me of a color I used to have that is just a perfect neutral color. It can work as a transition shade or it can just be great on its own when you're in a hurry. And it is Cafe Olay. And it's that just like gray brown. I used to have, I gotta get this off my hand or else I'm gonna get it everywhere. I used to have a Laura Mercier color just like this. Um, and I've never tried L'Oreal's like color reach eyeshadows, so I thought this would be good. Oh, it's smooth. I just pressed it on my hand. Okay, so I'm gonna do it on this side because I've still got facial wipe drying on the other. See, look how beautiful that was. So, I already have eyeshadow on, and I have a lot of eyeshadow on. But let's see if we can, let's see if we can do something with this. Okay. Okay, I put it on this side, and it, uh, I don't know if this is showing on camera, so you all might think I'm crazy, but it honestly just glided in and like darkened the crease beautifully because it just goes so wonderfully with that purple guys I think I'm really sorry I keep looking at the monitor still adjusting I think I'm really into this too I think L'Oreal is making a ton of winners so surprised okay once again that is just a beautiful everyday color I'm liking it last thing there's an insane amount of lipsticks with the word coffee in it or a coffee theme so the one I decided to get was from Maybelline and it's from the new part new line and um, it is just called coffee addiction and the reason I got it is because this is straight up oh it looks redder in this in the monitor this is straight up from my 90s youth like that is just a great chocolate brown will it look good on me I'm not sure I'm not sure if this is for me but we're gonna try it right now so I have no lipstick on yeah it's kind of a brick Well, it looks terrible with my eyeshadow. I will say that. Um, but it feels really nice. It's very warm toned, so it does not work with my uber cool toned eyeshadows at all. But it feels really, really nice. I do like it. I would wear it another time. It's not as brown as I thought, but this totally reminds me of like Spice from back in the day from MAC. So if anyone remembers Spice, and I I think it still might be their best-selling lipstick color, um, but it kind of reminds me of that. And there used to be one, if anyone remembers Garden Botanicals, Garden Botanicals that used to be in the mall, in the mall, where did I just come from? Uh, Garden Botanicals that was in the mall, they had lipsticks that like in junior high you would go buy lipstick because it was always cheaper than all the other stores. And they had one that I think was called Mocha. And I want to say it was like this. So. Those are all my coffee inspired products. Do you have any coffee inspired products? Let me know in the comments. Um, also, what's your order? What's your go-to coffee order? I am an iced coffee with half and half, one stevia all the way. Oh, and a splash of cinnamon. A little dash, a little dash dash of cinnamon. Uh, but what is yours? Tell me in the comments below. And right now you should be getting suggestions of some other videos. They're videos I think you would really enjoy. So keep watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.